Girls High School Hoops Slarman playing for another state title this afternoon in Normal, taking on Eastland Hilltoppers dominate from the start. Capriya Brown out to Janaya Newell for the two-point jumper with a 13-point lead at halftime. Anaya Peoples sends it over to Capriya Brown. She had 17 points on the day after 23 yesterday. Then it's Sydney Gerard to Peoples in the paint, gets one for the Hilltoppers. The lead all the way up to 19 points this afternoon. Peoples again to Gerard, way down court for the wide open layup. 54-38, but the play of the game here, Brown dominating off the steal. She doesn't get it to go the first time. She goes out of bounds, steps back in, and gets it for the reverse layup. Schlarman, state champ once again, 62-37. Here's Marley Weirdo. It's a truly bittersweet moment. Schlarman Academy earned their second state championship title in a row. But for the Hilltopper seniors, it's the end of their high school career. It's very emotional. We were all crying in the locker room. I don't know if you guys could tell before we got on the court, but we all had to like put our emotions kind of in the back of our head and just go play the game. And now everybody's super happy and um, we're letting it all out. The road to two state titles has been years in the making. In just 2016, the Hilltoppers won their first ever sectional title. Now, three years later, they dominate in the state finals with a 26-point victory. They are the most loyal, committed young ladies that I've ever had the pleasure of coaching. They were prepared. They were confident. And uh, they came out and displayed some good basketball at times, so I couldn't be more proud of them. We've worked so hard, and it's hard to see each other part different ways, but um, it's a bond, it's a love that um, we've really built. The Hilltoppers will graduate four starters this year, but for the returners, they say they're going to enjoy this moment right now as state champions, but get ready for the offseason, which starts tomorrow. Reporting at Redbird Arena, Marley Weirda, WCIA 3 Sports. Marley, thank you. In the 1A third place game, Tri-County and Lewiston. To start it off, Taylor Berry off the break. She ties it up in the first quarter. Then Berry to Kirsten Price Wilson for two, but Lewistown had a strong first half to give them a 15-point lead at halftime. Trojans keep fighting, though. Price Wilson goes strong in the paint. She ends the day with 17 points. Later on, Harley, don't call me Halle Berry with a nice bucket in the fourth, but it wouldn't be enough. They're finished fourth, 67-53. Awesome journey we're on, had this year. The girls sitting here with me have been leaders and great young ladies. And I've said over and over and over, just how good basketball players are. They're awesome young ladies. We just really had one big, big goal just to, to at least make it to state. And we just kept working hard for it and never gave up and just worked together and, and just kept our heads up. SJO playing for third right now to topless in the 2A state championship tonight. We will have highlights and reaction from both of those tonight at 10.